So if we, if we have two common negative five, that two is in this axis. Okay, two is for the x axis and negative five is for the y axis. Okay, remember that x axis is the horizontal line and y is the vertical line. Also remember that we call first the x coordinate and then the y coordinate. Okay, so what is the midpoint for that? Okay, if we ignore this, this math that I already done here and just pay attention to this line and find out where in the middle or which point in the middle will be in order to have the same distance from the middle to any of the points, okay? So as you can see, we have one negative one, one comma negative one, the coordinate for the midpoint. But if you analyze this a little bit, adding the x coordinate, zero plus two, this zero plus this two, we have two, and two divided by two is one. Okay, here is that one, okay? And the next one, which is um, for y, we have three, which is the first one, and then we have negative five, which is the second one. So three plus negative five divided by two is three, minus five divided by two. Okay, we have here, uh, a, as you can see, the five is bigger than the three. So what we do is just make a regular uh, subtraction, subtract three from the five, which is five minus three, and you get two, okay? But then you're gonna, you're gonna give the sign of the highest value. In this case, five is higher than three, so five is negative, so the result will be negative also. Okay, negative two divided by two is negative one. So the other coordinate is negative one, okay? And now let's go to this thing, which is a finding endpoints, okay? So sometimes we can find endpoints super, super easy, okay? We can, uh, if we have the first endpoint and then we have the midpoint, we can use several ways to work with this, okay? One way to do it is if you do it by, by graphical means, okay? So if you have this graph right here, this is your beginning point, which is A, and you have your midpoint, which is M right here. Just count how many values you have down, one, two, three, four. Okay, so just move the same, but to the opposite side. One, two, three, four, okay? So we are just like this, just for now. Okay, and then to the left, one, two. Okay, so move those two, but now to the right, one, two, okay? And this is the, the other endpoint right here, okay? This is the endpoint right here. So if you see, I have the coordinate is one, two, and three, and the y is four. So this is the answer if you do it just using the graph, okay? Let me clear this screen and we can move to another example. Okay, if we if you want to say, hey, mister, I want to do something that is, the, the formula works better for me, you can do that. Of course, you can do that. And the formula is simple, super simple. Just multiply two times the x, which is the coordinate for the midpoint minus the coordinate of the first endpoint and you get it for why you do exactly the same multiply two times the coordinate of the midpoint which is right here and then subtract the value of the coordinate for the first endpoint all right let's let's do it super super easy okay so we have the endpoint 5,6 Okay, so remember the endpoint, if it's the first one, the name is x1, y1. Okay, and for the midpoint, it's just x, 